Alright, so we're sitting in the back of my 1971 VW Super Beetle. And it's hot as fuck right now, but uh, we're sacrificing pop up when pop up back windows to come soon, anyways. This isn't about uh, VW customization or anything like that right now. Kind of sort of. It's about all vehicle customization. If you've ever wanted Wi Fi in your car but haven't quite figured out how to do it, or you don't want to have to pay for that 3G broadband bullshit that's going on, well, I've got another version of the 3G hotspot uh, repeater as well. Later on, we'll talk more about that. But what I've got to show you right now is my uh, Linksys uh, WD, <clears throat> my Linksys WRT 54G2 version one, flashed with DDWRT um, version 24 SP2. And uh, let's go ahead and show you that. So what I've got, I've got this bad boy, like I said, flashed with the DDWRT, and then I have not yet put auto AP, but I put my own script that's uh, something similar to auto AP, but it still connects you to open, open Wi-Fi sources first, and if there's a small web encryption, then it cracks that fairly simple. It's kind of like the uh, same source code that they used in the Wi-Fi Robins. Very similar. So, just to show you that it works, I'll show you my little network meter here. See if you can see it. Uh, I'm hiding my IP from you guys. So, that's what it's called right there is VW Wi-Fi. I know it's kind of nifty. And um, I'm pretty good. Right now, my load speed is it? 29 megs and my downloads at 413 right now um, I'm just parked in my backyard kind of bullshitting around testing there and I can pick up at least four different signals I always done something weird right now see there we go now we're really starting to talk baby yeah <laughs> so that's what I got going on and like I said I mean it looks just fucking cool shit Oh, but yeah, later on I'm going to show you how to do the 3G uh, broadband crack that I figured out. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm using an old Nokia phone plugged into my router via my Windows 7 Bluetooth enabled netbook. It's a HP Mini 1... 1100? 100? HP Mini 1100, I think. Uh, so that's what we got going on. I think it's a pretty nifty little hack, and if you can figure it out, then you too can drive to your local Occupy and supply free Wi-Fi to everyone. So uh, just be clo be careful, and remember to limit the uh, bandwidth that each computer is able to use. And not that I'm implying you should use this for any mal purpose. I don't condone any of those purposes. Uh, so we'll talk to you soon. Like I said, don't use this for anything bad. Just drive around your na uh, neighborhood and ask your neighbors if you can use their Wi-Fi. Kind of a war driving thing going on here, huh? I said, we'll show you more. I plan on taking this Beetle on a few buggins, and, uh, which is a really long trip. So we'll see if we can take Reznor and my wife and pack them in this baby. Alright, so like I said, that's what I got going right now. She's still connected. Oh, 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 yeah. You can't just connect to any open source. You have to use your own virtual interface or your own virtual router. So you can do that either one of two ways. You can have a hard line, which is how you have to set this thing up. You have to have the Ethernet plugged in from, I use port number two, some people use port number three, whichever one works best for you, I don't give a shit. Um, 
you can either use the, like I said, the hardwired or you can do it Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi. But that opens up potentially a can of worms to anyone who knows what they're doing. So if you don't want anything crazy going over your network, be sure to encrypt it. And we all know WEP isn't shit. Right now, WPA is not bad. WPA2 is a little better. But if you can do the PSK, i say go for it. Um, if anybody has any recommendations on how I can make this baby invisible, I know I can get rid of the SSID. But I want to be able to broadcast it but stay independent. But maybe I think I could use a proxy. Alright, so we shall talk to you later. I'll give you one more look. Yeah, what would I got going on? I said no no other plugs other than the power cable there. See? My alligator print leather, I had to rip it out a little bit to put that in. Like I said. She's still going strong. So, well, there we go. I'll leave you with a little shot of my original stuff here. Original horn button. And voltmeters and everything else to come on. This is an extended project. So, it's only taken me about two months to do all this. And, uh, if you look at my Samba forum, which I'll try to put a link to in the comments, then you'll get a good idea of where we came from. Alright, so talk to me later.